Hi, I'm going to be doing the science experiment for this week. This is CC Cycle 2, Week 21, Tower Construction. So, <laughs> in class, I usually go through the scientific method um, for every experiment we do. And if you want to look at that, it's going to be in, on page 129 in your foundations guide. So the first thing that we do is talk about our question. Our question this week is, what makes a good tower? The next step is research. So I'll ask the kids, what do you guys know about towers? And they'll say different things like, well, I saw a tower once or towers are made out of triangles and triangle shapes make the best tower like we learned last week when we were doing our bridges. Um, so whatever research or things your kiddos know about towers. Um, and then we move into the hypothesis. So for this part, you usually kind of have to steer the kids a little bit. Um, the hypothesis is gonna be like, what do you think is gonna happen? So basically we're asking what kind of Brit, what kind of tower is going to be the best tower? And um, you can ask questions like, do you think a tower that's like really tall and skinny would be a good tower or a tower that's like really wide and short? Which one would be the most stable tower? And then kind of see what they think and then we'll get right into the experiment. So for this experiment, you have a sheet of paper and some cups. The paper is going to be our foundation and we're going to be shaking the paper. So what I did um, is fold the corners over like that so you can kind of grip the paper and shake it easier. Um, and then we'll start building. Our first tower is going to go straight up. So we're going to see how this kind of tower works. Just alternate the cups. Okay, so it's already getting kind of wobbly. I'm not gonna go any higher than that. Um, but then we'll look at this tower and we'll say, is this tower stable? Is this a steady tower? Does this look like a good tower? And see what they think and then say, okay, let's shake it. And we can blow on it too and see like if wind, like wind is moving it. Um, when people build towers, they have to consider all of the elements and that's something that you can stop and talk about like earthquakes or um, huge gusts of wind and rain and all sorts of things that can happen. So, we'll shake our foundation. So I'm barely shaking it at all and it's really moving. And down it goes. And then you ask the kids, was that a good tower? No, it was not. All right, then let's build another tower. Tower number two is gonna be three on the bottom, then two, then one. Okay. So already this tower looks more stable than the first one. It's not wobbling around. When I blow on it, it's hardly moving at all. Um, let's see what happens when we shake the foundation. So if there was an earthquake and we were shaking the foundation, it stayed up better than the first tower, but it still fell. Okay, so for our third and final tower, we are gonna do a circle base with one in the middle this is seven cups, and you're gonna do three cups on the next level. You'll take the cup and put it on top. Make sure it's touching three cups. That helps make it more stable. And then the top layer is just one cup. Okay, so now we have our most stable tower that we've built. I'm gonna blow on it and see. It's not moving at all. We'll see what happens when I shake the foundation. So I'm shaking this one a lot stronger than I've shaken the other ones and it's not going down. You really have to kind of, and even still it's not all the way falling. It's kind of hard to get this one to fall. Um, and then you just kind of want to talk about what you saw. Um, the analysis part of the scientific method is just like, what did you see happen? And then your conclusion is the results. What did you find out? So we found out that a wider base makes a better, more stable tower. Thank you, have fun.